Hey guys, so I want to do a quick little video today. So Note phones here, uh, my favorite kind of phone. So what I did was I installed the original Android Samsung firmware on, on my Note phones. Uh, Note 2, Note 3, Note 4, Note 5. So I just want to do Geekbench test here, see how big of a difference it is. And the Geekbench, of course, measures uh, the processor performance. So first, why not just um, go quickly into the settings area here and see exactly what kind of version they're running on. They're running on the latest kind of that they can run. Might not be exactly the case all the time. 4.4.2 and Note 3, very, very nice device. I really enjoy that one. And a 5.0 and uh, my Note 4, which I'm still using, and a 5.1. Uh, but Android 5 one with one definitely is available, and then we do have the latest here, <laughs> the uh, the uh, the Note uh, Five. Yeah, so that one is running on five point one point one. Shrewd. Okay, so first of all, before I start to do this video, uh, I just want to say that the, the biggest difference you can see in terms of display is definitely between the Note 2 and the and the, the newer phones, because the Note 2 definitely can't go up higher in brightness, which was pretty interesting. So these are very, very good compared to this one, at least that's what I noticed. Uh, uh, but I enjoyed all of them, Note phones, I've been using them all for around a year for each phone. And the original Note I don't have here because usually I use comparative for latest. And uh, also my Note, um, my original Note, is there's something wrong with the battery so I can't start it and use it. And many people will become confused if I use more phones than four. Uh, but this is the four latest one, the, the last, uh, since 2012, since this one came out. Okay, so Malite 400 here, Derno, at Renault and Malay again. I do enjoy Malay GPU more than the Adreno GPU that we get here because usually it gets worse in many games, if you ask me. So let's run this here. <laughs> definitely let me know if you want to see what kind of videos you want to see. Of course I can't, sometimes I can't read all comments, but uh, yeah, you try to do it the best you can. To, because you know when I do read comments sometimes I do get very very good ideas of course uh, October is going to be an exciting month uh, exciting month at least for me new iPhones iPhone 6s iPhone 6s plus Sony Xperia Z5 and in November Z5 premium gonna get the new Nexus phone here maybe in late September we have a OnePlus uh, 2 which I also might check out here in the future. We have a Galaxy S5 um, Neo variant. We have a Galaxy J5, a lot of cool mid-range uh, Samsung devices. But of course, they can cost money, so I gotta save up. Okay, so um, we can start compare the scores right now, uh, especially between the two latest. So if we first of all check out the single core score, interestingly around Note 3 and Note 4, very identical there, the single core score. And also, just the, the Note 4 is a little bit higher uh, when they use all four cores compared to Note 3. So that's definitely interesting that, that is, that's not like a major difference in performance. And uh, it can be good to know. Uh, but there's a big difference here between Note 2 Note 3, br br big speed bump here, not a double speed bump, here a tiny speed bump. And if we go from uh, Note 4 to uh, the Note 5, we can see it doesn't double it, but uh, maybe like 50% increase the performance, which is pretty nice. Uh, but the biggest difference here definitely, Note 2 and going to Note 3. And I really enjoy the two latest phones here because I can replace the battery and insert SD card, but um, you can't do that anymore, this one, which I'm very, very disappointed at. I'm probably gonna keep using my Note 4 for now, uh, but if it gets super slow, it gets slow a little bit sometimes in animation stuff like that for me now, so I um, might upgrade to Note 5, use that my main phone in a couple of months, or I might just instantly do it here. But uh, they have different SIM cards, so I have to replace the SIM card also, which is a little bit annoying, but yeah, but definitely, S Pen, which is cool, feels more like a pen, that's nice, uh, because it has a clicking sound and stuff, and I definitely might compare that, and um, 
ja, quick video. Haben wir es mit.